This is Charlotte Wilcock, a 31-year-old mum of two who was brutally murdered in a senseless act of violence, perpetrated by a man she had never even met before. Anthony Stinson, 31, has now been jailed for life for the horrific murder of the Blackburn mum at her home. Charlotte was home alone on the evening of March the 3rd, smoking a cigarette on her doorstep while her 15-month-old daughter slept upstairs. But shortly before 9pm, Stinson, high on cocaine and alcohol, walked past the house and attacked her. The following morning, Charlotte was found dead in the hallway of a home in Primrose Terrace, Blackburn. She had suffered 100 separate injuries after being punched, kicked, stabbed and slashed at by Stinson. It was Stinson himself who had called the police that morning. I um, it's Anthony Stinson. I have basically been suffering with psychosis for about a year now. Um, and last night I have literally walked past somebody when they were sat at the doorstep. And um, I thought I'd seen the devil. So I kicked them in the face and I've, I have think, I think they might be um, I think I've, I've killed them. So I, I basically mean to tell you that I've, I might have killed somebody. The killer, who has previously served a prison sentence for rape, claimed he was mentally ill and had seen the devil before killing Charlotte. But officers investigating the case discovered Stinson showed no sign of mental illness when he recorded a violent rap video an hour before the attack. Four, now stamp on your face on the floor Now stamp your face on the floor Put it on the curb You're already gonna ready for the t Just 15 minutes before he encountered Charlotte He was speaking calmly to a shopkeeper As he bought cigarettes and alcohol Psychologists were instructed to examine Stinson's mental state And concluded there was no signs Of any disorder which would have diminished his responsibility for the murder. Charlotte's family have conducted themselves with incredible dignity throughout the whole judicial process. And while nothing will bring Charlotte back, I hope that today they feel at least some sense of justice uh, for what happened in Mr Stinson's prison term. I hope that knowing Anthony Stinson will be behind bars for at least the next 24 years will give them some comfort in that knowing he can't harm anyone else so that they can start to move forward with their lives start the true grieving process now the judicial process is done in a victim impact statement read to the court charlotte's mum carol said charlotte didn't die she was murdered and taken from us without any sensible explanation i find this almost impossible to bear the most frustrating question that I have is why, and I know that I will never have that answer. One thing that he will never be able to take away from me are my memories of Charlotte and all of the good times that we had together as a family. She will never be forgotten. She was such a precious daughter and a very funny girl. I loved her deeply and miss her terribly. I don't think the feeling of loss and missing her will ever stop. You will hold my hand and sing to me.